My name is Malay Vasawada and welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's take a look at how can we work with the data table operations, data table actions in Power Automate Desktop. We already have a created a data table using create new data table action. Let me double click on that. We have first name, last name, joining date, gender and department. And we have two rows added already. Okay, let's go ahead and add new row into the context data table. So very first thing that we're going to be doing is get insert row into data table. It will ask for the existing data table variable. Click on that. We already have a context where you would like to add the specific row. If you would like to add towards the end of the data table, that's the default selection. If you want to add a row at a specific place at a specific position you can actually select before row index and then you can select whether you want to add the row as a first place you want to add the row as a second place and so on to make it simple for now click end of the data table now the way we will put this here is between the percentage sign opening and closing bracket and then let's start adding the value so sara Jogan Johnny is 11th, 11th, 2014. Female and sales department. All right, click on save, hit run. We have a context now populated when it runs. And earlier you saw we had two rows and now we have three rows. So we were able to successfully add Sarah Jurgen to the last item in the data table. Now let's see delete row from a data table. Drag and drop. Data table. We already have context table. Row index. It starts for zero. So let us delete the one which you just added. So it's going to be two. And what that means is. The Sarah Jogan that we added should get deleted. So let's run. And again, you see now we are back to two rows. And the reason is we already have deleted the second row. This for now. So let's drag update data item and let's see how this works. We select the data table. We have a context. Now select the column that we would like to update the value of. Let's say we want to change department and which row we would like to change. So we would like to change, let's say the first row. So the first row department is ID in this create new data table. Let's change it to, let's say the marketing. Click on save. Let's say this one more time. So when we edit, you see the first zero index item has the department IT and that would then change to the marketing. Let's run the flow. OK, let's click on context and you see instead of IT, now we have the marketing and that's how we updated the value. Now find or replace in the data table. Let's just remove this for now. Let's go with find or replace the data table. Let's specify the data table, which we have as a contact. We want to find and replace text to find. Now I would like to replace is active there is a column is active in our data table i would like to replace no with yes into that is active column so i would like to find no into that column find using a regular expression for now no match case if you want you can select this which will exactly match the text that you entered but i'm good with this so text to replace with i will just say yes Instead of everywhere, I would like to search on a specific column and the column is is active. OK, that's what we want to do. Click on save. If I edit this, you will see we have is active column. We have no and yes. And when I'm also inserting a row into the data table, I'm also selecting no as inactive for this new row. So what will happen is after this, all of the no should turn into yes into is active column. Let's hit the flow. And let's go ahead and 
click on the contacts and you will see we had two nodes in the is active but now we have all three inactive as yes let's do this insert column into the data table so in case if you want to add a new column into the data table you can do that let's select this contacts into the location so where do you want to add the column do you want to add the column towards the end of the data table or before some specific column index so if you want to add this column right before the first column between some of the columns then you can define the column index for simplicity i'll just say end of the data table and what's going to be the column name let's call it as a city click on save hit run and we can see the seventh column city is added into the data table. If you want to delete the column from a data table, you can do that. Select that, select the data table, specify the column with the name or the index. Let's go ahead with the name and let's just remove the one which we just added city. Okay. Click on save, hit run. It will add the new column, but at the same time, it will also delete the column. So again, if you open the context back, we will no longer have a city. So city was added and then immediately removed as well. If you have empty rows into the data table, you can also delete the empty rows from the data table. So if you drag that, all you need to do is just select the data table and it would delete the empty rows if you have in the data table. In case by mistake, if you have added rows with the same values, you can use this. You can drag and drop delete duplicate rows from the data table and of course select the data table and that would remove the duplicate rows from the data table. So let's sort the data table. Select the data table, context, specify the column with name or index. How do you want to specify the column? Do you want to specify the column with the name or the index? I'll just keep it as a name. And then on which column we would like to sort the data table. So let's just say I would like to sort this with first name and in which order do we want to do it in the ascending order or the descending order. So let's go ahead and select descending, click on save. If you open this, we have Michael Robert as a first name and then we are also adding Sarah. So what will happen is after sort data table, we will actually have the table into the reverse order. We will have a Sarah and then we would have the Robert and the Michael. So let's see this in action. Let's run the flow. Click on the context and you will see we have Sarah, Robert and Michael. Okay, so the entire data table is now sorted with the first name. Next, we also have the filter data table. So if you would like to filter the data table with the specific column and the values, we can do that. Let's select the data table, filter to apply, click on edit. What is the filter that we would like to apply? So the column name or index, we will say gender equals to male. That's how we want to filter. Click on done. The variable produce is filtered data table. Maybe you can call it as the male context, click on save. Hit run. Let's click on mail contacts. That's the new table. And you can see that we only have the male contacts. We do not have the female contact, which we already have as Sarah. So that's how you can actually filter the data table.